Hello there, you beautiful people. Hi and welcome. I want to say a super special shout out to everyone who's supported me on Patreon so far. Thank you so, so much. Um, I was, I, okay, so I'm going to sort of give a mini tour of this, but this is mainly a clothing try on video that I'll explain in a minute. But um, I was able to buy a studio barn. <laughs> so that's, um, thank you guys so much for helping this kind of like crazy dream come true. Um, this guy is called the Bruce and I have another barn coming that's called the Colorful Critter and the Colorful Critter is going to be a splatter paint extravaganza place. So I've got a whole lot of excitement happening on that. So thank you so so much for everyone who has um, helped sponsor the kind of crazy creations that I, I do on a day-to-day -day basis um, and be prepared for a lot more paint artist experiments. Uh, that's coming up soon. I'm super stoked about that. But uh, Today's, we're doing a clothing try-on video, and this one is excluded. This is just like, I happen to wear this right now. But it is um, clothing that I have bought on my own recognizances that I liked at the time, and we can like kind of laugh at now and say, Jenna, why did you think this is a good thing to wear? <laughs> so um, this is probably gonna be a crazy long video because I have clothes all the way from here to here. I'm gonna guesstimate this is about 20 outfits, although, and I'll do do some special talking about each piece as I try it on. Um, the extended version is on Patreon. I like to run my videos without cutting them, so this is like the entire un, uncensored, unfiltered, just like crazy shenanigans that goes on behind the scenes in a video um, that you can see if you subscribe to my Patreon channel, which is patreon.com slash I also have an art-only Patreon page if you want to be super safe for work and keep an eye out for um, paint artist experiments happening on that page soon. So let's get started. <laughs> also feel free to do um, a comment with a timestamp and be like, hot, not, keep, donate, paint, uh, whatever you want to, you're welcome to comment on my clothing collection. Uh, this one is actually not one that I bought, but uh, my godmother had it in her thing she was getting rid of, and I just couldn't let her get rid of it because I really loved it and wanted it. I'm like, I'll wear this! I have not worn this though, sadly. Um, it's got like, it's a swimsuit with shorts on top of it. I guess I can get rid of this if I have to. I need to make a little pile for that. All right, where's my get rid of? Cause I'm gonna... Oh, also, I do want to showcase how good I am at zipping up my own dresses. Oh, that one wasn't hard. But sometimes they are hard. <laughs> All right. So I got this one at Dillard's for about $10 on sale. I love to shop sales. Also, I'm still working with lighting. I hate backlighting, but Right now, that's kind of the only option I have where I'm gonna show a bunch of junk over there. Keep an eye on me, camera. Keep the focus. You know where my face is. It's okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Well, I think this is probably too small for me. So, should this be a photo shoot dress? Do we have things that I should be taking pictures of in this dress? What are your thoughts and activities on this? Okay, sorry about the extra junk. Do a little spin. I forgot. I should spin in each one of these. Ta -da! Dress, dress. It's a dress. And I probably, I probably can't comfortably wear it anymore. This video because um, I wanted to get rid of some of my clothes, but there were a lot of them that were just like, I can't part with this yet. I love it so much. So, well, so far we got two for two, but number three I'm definitely not parting with unless I'm I'm selling. I don't know. This is one. This is one of my very first uh, paint artist experiments, and um, my friend helped me with it. She actually carved a heart in here, but now it's just a big hole because like hearts and dresses don't stay. <laughs> um, it is a full circle skirt. The only thing I don't like about it is the color. It's, um, excuse me, it's like a cami, cami, camo army green, and I'm not a big fan. Okay, so this dress was actually not on my deciding if I'm keeping it or not pile. This is a, I wanted to dress in it, and I haven't dressed in it yet. That doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> I actually have a real aversion to photographing red. My camera does not handle it well. I can tell from here it's like freaking out. It's like making my belly super white right now. But this is by Dominique Ansari. I wish you could see the bottom. Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna do a pan down real fast. Pandemic, ah! Just kidding. Um, but it has an uneven hemline. It's very like sexy, flowy, good for dresses. Good for dresses, yeah, it's a dress. That's a crazy long tie thing. 
and it is a convertible dress which means if you have a sexy sports car just kidding <laughs> um, but you can like tie it and it does all sorts of fun different things wow we are seven minutes and four dresses in we gotta rock and roll so definitely keeping this dress i have to lose to like make the zipper wanna hey i don't know that went on Okay, yeah, oh, it's a ribcage issue. Yeah, I can't 100% breathe in this. <laughs> I mean, if I want to wear it for a photo, that's totally fine. But I want to wear this to swing dance and to just like flow the night away with and dance and dress and be be happy and free. And that's not easily happening because um, it's super tight through here. So if my ribs were smaller, I'd be all over this dress. <laughs> well, I bought it anyway. <laughs> I think it was only $4 at a thrift store out near... Um, Mesa Verde, so that's a place where the, the cliff dwellings are. So I am quite the fan, <clears throat> but it is, alas, not, not a thing that's... Oh, I didn't even get this zipped. It goes up the rest of the way, because it's a dress, and it zips. But I guess this pile needs to go into the, like, we better take pictures with it and then get rid of it pile, because, I don't know, what else am I going to do? So this is a Banana Republic dress that's a size zero. Um, I think I mostly just wanted to try it on and see how it fit. I think so far so good. It's not too tight in the anywhere. I like that ring though. But does it look good? Does it like hug the curves in the right places or is it just like prim and proper and professional? Because I am down for either or both of those. I'm so white! Yeah, also at wearing black overexposes you too, so that's another problem. I don't know. What do you guys think? I definitely need some votes on this one. It's a keep or a go or a stay or an I don't know. Who knows? Making this hard. Okay. So this one still has the tags on it. My oh, and the one before my aunt bought me for Christmas, I think, or my birthday. I've always thought this was not uh, slimming on me. I thought it looked kind of like frumpy and ugly. And love you, mom, but I didn't like this dress. So what do you think? Does this, like, it doesn't do the that thing. Is it too match sticky? I was supposed to wear this to my sophomore prom. Uh, I'm older than that now. <laughs> and I still have this dress. Uh, yeah, I definitely need some votes on this one. I'm not sure what to do with it at all. Sorry about the camera angles. Yeah, I don't know. This was not helpful at all trying this dress on. What do I do? This is making me look sad. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is a fit. It has pockets and it's lovely, but it needs to be lovely on someone with a slimmer rib cage slashed waistline slashed. I just need to get rid of this. I knew this a while ago, but I was just holding on to it because it has birds on it. Look, put a bird on it. Yeah. So, no, no birds on me. Take it off. Take it doesn't, it's okay. I need help with this one. Help! Someone put my clothes on me. I don't think the neighbors are helping. <laughs> Man, I don't know how I feel about neighbors. Feels kind of weird. Anyways, the coolest thing about this one is the back. Um, I bet if I walked in it, it would ride up. I always don't like dresses like this that like show your uh, legs. But look at how cool that looks. Is it bad to keep something because it looks cool up that way? Ooh, let's try this off backwards. See how that would look over the boobs. Uh, no, come on, just come. Again, I zip this up with one hand tucked behind my back. Sort of! Yes! You can! You can wear this. Okay, again, this is one of those that has that issue of like when I fully expand my diaphragm, I get trapped. So that's, I know I should probably wear a smaller size, but like, I like to wear big clothes so they don't touch me. And I guess this one is probably technically too small. But look at how cute it is. Shouldn't I keep it? Because it's gorgeous. It's got splatter paint on it. I could splatter paint in a splatter painting dress. I'm probably not getting rid of this one. <laughs> Sorry. 
I suck at life. I know. And I'm trapped in my clothing. Someone else brings back all the memories of high school and all the like sad and happy and beautiful things and one of my very first photo shoots okay like second or third but um, I had one of my friends model in this she's a really close friend and yeah I don't know it's hard to get rid of this one but I know I should I've actually gotten rid of it several times already I've just like not gone all the way with that it's like that's the get rid of pile it's very small but oh, tough tough decisions decisions all right, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna run inside, sit down. Oh wow, I've done 18 minutes already. Kudos of like clothing making or clothing decision making and let's take a break. Zip that and fear of flashing. Wow, um, I definitely don't feel comfortable in this anymore. I have worn this as a professional dress. Uh, when I did try to get it on this way, it stuck on my butt and it was just like, my butt can't get up. Ah! So, uh, Probably not on this. I feel like a slutty schoolgirl on this. <laughs> Maybe if you like say it that way with your words, the sensors won't get you. <laughs> Ridiculous it was watching me get in this dress because um, it looked very silly. I got stuck a couple times. Uh, if you did not see that, I'm sorry. It was hilarious. And I probably need you to hate on this dress. Like I really enjoy it. It's very comfortable but I'm kind of aware of how it looks, and I don't know, it looks very school marmy, vintage, uh, I don't know, you can probably call it ugly. Yeah, everyone call this dress ugly and make me get rid of it. It's so comfortable though, so I'm gonna keep it until everyone tells me I have to get rid of it. But uh, make fun of me for wearing this dress. Oh, we forgot to show the back on that one. It looks like the front, but without buttons. And pose, and pose, and pose. Um, yeah, I guess I need to be like shamed into getting rid of this. <laughs> I just, okay, I love buying clothes. I love finding things that are comfortable, but then, yeah, this one's green. I should get rid of it. I don't like this color. <laughs> oh, that's it. I zipped it all by myself. I've worn this out before a couple times. I'm gonna adjust the exposure again one more time. Uh, yeah, so it's a very flowery print. Wait, the exposure's not changing. There we go. Yep, too tight though. Gotta, gotta extend it on the estray. Ow. In black, we're really, really back. Bow, bow. Popping collars in the X. Uh, long sleeve. I think this is a nightgown. What do you think? This looks very like nightgown -y. evening gown. I don't know. No, not an evening gown. That's the wrong word. I don't know. This didn't help for this dress. It's just sort of incredibly comfortable and has like super soft, shiny pockets and silk on it. It makes me want to pet me. <laughs> so I guess, uh, keep. Let me to go. Arr, so crouchy. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing pants. I'm not a cheerleader, but I could do this if I'm holding on to something. <laughs> They look the same on this side too. That's no, Um Would I ever wear this? Probably not. I'm wearing it now for you. Should I get rid of them? Will I miss them? I will miss these pants because I wore them in high school. And they seem to be like the bomb diggity of my life and my lifestyle and my life choices at that time in my life. But now I'm old. But look at how cool they look. I feel like this is one where I need to go in and be like, Mom, should I get rid of these? Someone tell me to keep my pants on. <laughs> please. But like for real. But please. Okay, I'll be back. I need to go get an opinion. I don't know. This one I think is one of those that like makes me look fat because it does the maternity thing right here and it's like, oh, hello, bit brother. Yeah. Does this dress make me look pregnant? <laughs> so I probably just need to get rid of this. I've had it forever. I've worn it when I had my head shaved. Yeah, I guess that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I'd wear this thing nonstop all the time. It just feels so short. I mean, my knees are like, I don't know, it's like five inches above the knees. So, I don't know. It does have pockets. It's getting pretty worn though. I could get rid of it. 
We'll do that. We'll see what happens. I'll put a little bow in this. Might try to sell this one. It's been... Hmm. This one make me look fat? I used to call this a professional dress. It does zip. I didn't zip it. It has pockets. I'm just not in love right now. Am I just... You all the wicked slink. Goodbye. Yeah, this is another one that just feels really short. Um, it's, yeah, probably four inches. Do I need dresses below my knee? Am I that old already? This one does, it feels like a night dress. I could buy, like, that. It does have paint on it already. It's like I've already started painting for short. <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking about keeping this one might, for might be a painting dress. Although it hugs, like, everything and I'd have to wear bloomers of some sort to keep, keep the, the naughty bits covered for YouTube. Right now, I'll just do this, so you can't see anything. <laughs> um, throw it in that pile, and if I don't like it, I'll... <sighs> I think I hate clothes. I've tried so many pieces of clothing on, I now hate all of them. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's comfortable. I like it, I guess. I do hate getting rid of dresses that I haven't even worn yet. The worst thing about this one is it's too long, and I know it, but I was like, oh, cut it off. I don't know, it could be another maternity dress. Why is, why are all of my dresses making me so pregnant? Um, I don't know guys, what do you think? Yes, no, this makes me look fat. Man, it's like got some nice lines on it, maybe. I don't know. I guess this is the end of the clothing try-on. I've tried all these clothes on. And I do, okay, I'll show you my, my getting rid of pile. That makes me feel good, a little, sort of. Or like I should get rid of more things. Yeah, that's not really too big. <laughs> oh well, thanks for bearing with me in this crazy long try-on video. And I don't know what else to say now. Uh, follow me on Patreon, check it out. Um, wear clothes, live long and prosper. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, tell me to get rid of all of my clothes. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.